G'day and welcome back to our Welsh Britannia campaign in EU4. Uh, we have three different maps. Who's actually the closest to becoming an ally? Castile. Can we actually rival anybody? No. Alright, um, did we already improve with them? Yes. Let's just try and finish it off. Would love to get France as an ally as well. So we'll try with them. Don't see it actually happening. Uh, Austria, is there any real chance? No. I have to choose between France and Austria. I'd choose Austria, but let's we'll see what we can do. We really just want to focus on uh, England and then well, maybe Ireland next. Hmm. England have claims everywhere. Can't remember what gives them that. Marriage offer from Northumberland is acceptable. Age of Prestige is bringing us down. Dispenser is young. Hopefully we're young as well. Ooh, now we can get rivalries good. Um, we're 32. Okay. So. Kildare, Leinster, Offaly, Tyrone. I have no idea how big they are, but it's, um, Offaly is the biggest. We want Leinster. Probably check on their alliance webs. Ooh, he's got a lot. Yeah, well, it's going to be a nightmare no matter what. So, um... Let's say Leinster, because he borders us. Tyrone, because he borders us. And then Kildare or Offaly. Kildare probably makes more sense. Let's go with that. We should get power projection for kicking England out. Still counts as Wales up there because it's in our home region. Alright. And War of the Roses has just happened in England. Alright, when is our truce up? 71. It's quite a long one, unfortunately. We need time to build up to be able to attack their fort, though, I guess. Now, get rid of Manpower Guy to save money. Hmm. Alright, stop trying to improve with Castile. We're on 16. Can't get a marriage. Kind of close. Really wish he'd go to friendly. Oh. Uh, Austria. Can't be friendly with them yet, but we'll send the guy down there. In France, we can't quite be friendly. couple of months and we will be. Uh, Denmark were allied already. England we should just set to hostile because that's how we are. What is our improvement? 2.3. Great general has expired. Well, that's our limit. Two. Alright. Let's go try and get a better general. Zero two with four not the worst. I was just going to set the guys to drill. We don't have an army to drill. Alright. France. We are friendly. Be friendly back, please. If the neutral attitude swung to friendly, we could get them as an ally. Ottomans have the golden era nice and early. And here we go with admin. Alright. So, first idea group should probably be military. And I'm thinking quantity, because you get the land maintenance. Available mercs, garrison size, land attrition, land force limit. I mean, the force limit could be useful. Otherwise, just quality. I don't know. I'll leave it for a bit and think about it. I guess we need something that would help us with the Irish more than anything else. I also like to uh, get our access going so we can walk through to our other land. Unfortunately, Scotland's going to be annoying about this. Ally to his rival woods, Denmark and Northumberland. So maybe Scotland should be the first war. He's still guaranteed by France. So we need to go to war. Scotland's allied to England. What the hell? Alright, well, if we declared on to Connell... God... Scotland's going to be a nightmare no matter what we try and do here. We need to get France on side and attack England directly. 
But imagine how long we'd have to wait for that. Get one every two years from Northumberland because they're too big. Yeah, I can see this being a really slow start at this point. We would have had Burgundy on side, but they decided to die. Offaly has insulted us, excuse me. I also need to fabricate claims over here. Offaly is just with Desmond and Sligo. That's going to be the easiest one to attack. Come on, Scot yeah, we can't get Scotland into a war against us. Yeah, Offaly is definitely the easiest way to go. So let's assume it's going to be an 18 stack against us. We would have to call in Northumberland. Even then. We really need to call in Denmark. One every two years from them. That's ridiculous. It should be one every four. If this is one every two. Alright, now they're gaining a bit. Internal peace, I guess. And number of states. 18 provinces under the control of non-state members. What? Bohemia. Ah, oh, because Austria got that. Alright, fair enough. I was thinking this must have been lost. They lose all of Italy. Support House of York. Civil War of the succession to the throne is raging in England. Um, we could actually lose some manpower because we're at the cap. Don't want to send money. Could do with prestige. But it's trending up to slightly above zero anyway. Let's uh, send them a token force. Wish we'd see the progress. Doesn't look like much is actually going on. Don't seem to be doing anything. It's their only one there. Uh, unless they have. There's nothing in Calais. Calais mothballed. Oof. France. Austria, actually. Declare war on them. Normandy declared war on England for independence. Good. Let's keep them busy. Uh, who came in with them? Cornwall, Man, and Gascony. That's exactly what we want to say. And Castile went in as well. That's going to be annoying, because Castile might be allied to man. No, just Gascony and Normandy. Okay, well, they should get their independence. Should keep England nice and weak, because Castile should be bringing his troops over. Uh, it's different states in Leinster and Ulster. We'll go for it. And may as well core it, because we need the money. Nobility now demand land. They would definitely get something over here. That's eight. That's eight. Alright. Puts them on 80, unfortunately. This one would keep it safer. Increases influence by 23.8. It's exactly the same with this. Hmm. And land to 32.4. Yeah, just no difference on the influence. Alright then. Um, I want to give them pale because of the autonomy. So, nobility can have that. And I was still unable to give this away to the burger. Uh, yeah, the, the other dudes. Proof base man. I want to get something up to a 10. Ulster makes the most sense. Even though we don't get any money for it. Let's knock out a couple of these and this goes to the burgers. Yeah. Be good for getting stuff off them next time. Which would be right now. So. Sixty-six. The D it held will go away. Um, we will demand 100. And these come in 66, yeah. So we'll see when the thing says. 1470. Alright, shouldn't have to worry about it. 
Austria is sharing from uh, Aragon. Our heir is a navigator. Oh, he's good with the boats that we have none of. Under minus four. Pretty good unrest reduction at the moment. And let's see, our cap is eight. 8.8. Could get up to 9 for this war. Don't know how we would be able to win it though. Oh, he's eaten the Isles. Alright, done with France. Uh, my 66. No. Okay. I'll sure have embraced Renaissance. Minus 55, minus 39. There's nobody we're going to be able to get alliances with. Hopefully Desmond Castile is close. Let's keep trying to get Castile on our side. If we could swing a marriage, that'd be enough. If the ruler wasn't infertile, or if he changed his opinion... starting to get ruined by pretender rebels. Normandy will probably uh, have the problem that having an hour water. Alright, so they might end up passing some reforms. What is this posthumous? He's saying that it is him. This guy's 22. This guy's 22. Yeah, right. And stopped improving with Castile. 11 and 13. Alright, well, we still need to keep saving our money so we can build an army up. But I think our diplomat... Well, firstly, we're at 2 out of 4. So should we get an alliance over here somewhere? Awfully... Not allied to Kildare, wasn't... No, he's the one we want to attack. Alright, so Offaly, Desmond, and Sligo are a no-go. Offaly, Desmond, and Sligo are the ones that we would want to. Cornwall, Nassau, Arkin, Brittany. What about Tirkinol? Nope. He's with Munster now. Wait, you mean Munster, not Munster. Alright, um... Oh God, let's leave him alone. We will start fabricating this claim, though. Here. Ooh. We'll get Ormond. Cornwall will be forced to give England ducats. Cornwall and Oswald treaties with Castile. Okay. Uh, does that give us an extra slot with Castile? Does he want to... Uh... Nope. Alright, so what are we doing? Tyrone. We're going to improve so we can get the... Hey, France. Get the marriage with them. <clears throat> Hostile opinion. Was it not Tyrone that was on minus two a second ago? They now desire Ulster and Pale. Well, it's pointless being in Tyrone then, isn't it? Or was it Kildare? Hostile attitude as well. Alright. Um, who are you actually rival to? Kildare, Tyrone, or Mond? Tomond, Sligo, Desmond. Uh, Clan Ricard. Shouldn't have any bad opinion about us. She has no good opinion either. Alright, Desmond. No, that's... Damn it. Oh, yes. Thought we had a lot of loans to repay. Alright, Ormond. That's probably the one I was thinking of. The butlers. Alright, us and Ormond versus him, him, and him. And... Be the first to get military again. 
actually pretty damn good. Alright, uh, paid no attention to what we actually got from that. Limber's coming up in maybe 13 years or so. And they steal maps. Completely unhelpful to us. Farm estates, workshops. Alright, uh, Ormond. Would accept now. <laughs> Ormond is allied to our rival Tyrone. True. Oh no, we've lost sailors for our non-existent fleet. I think Offley's actually the only one we want to fabricate on. So we find two just try and improve, get some more alliances perhaps going on around here. There we go. So it was Desmond? No, it was these guys. Royal marriage. Yeah, we need to keep him in there for a bit. And then, can we grab Tamond? Yes. They only have a royal marriage there. Alright. So we declare on them. We call in them and them. That's how we want to roll. And we could take everything in that, potentially. And money's looking pretty good. With the interest payments down, only one loan left. We can pay off now. If they gain more influence, that's not cool. Um, we are going to actually have to take land away from them. Nobility, right? Alright, brings it down to 10.2, but definitely necessary. We actually need to take away a little more. Manpower recovery speed doesn't actually matter. 1470. Let's leave it as it is for now. We need more land up here to give away too, rather than giving away stuff down here with no autonomy. <coughs> Alright, uh, England getting wrecked. It's always a good sign. Hopefully they bankrupt him. Minus 81, he's taken bits back. And we can invest in Diplotech. How late were we on this one? 64, uh, 9 months. Alright, Castile's up here. Castile's against England, yeah. So England is allied with Scotland. That's just ridiculous. Scotland allying England. Cornwall was paced out. England grants independence to Normandy, Cornwall, Man and Gascony. Gives up ducats, pays ducats. Uh, damn, I was hoping they broke with um, Scotland. Oh, so we can't go back to war with them until 72, I believe. 71, September. England won a royal marriage. Player of Wales is hostile towards England. His opinion is low. We could actually swing a alliance with them. Unfortunately, now that they have only the one vassal, they can get alliances. Just hoping nobody wants to ally them. I should probably fabricate a claim on England as well. Alright, so offer of alliance with... Not Offaly, no. Minus 17, because of Tyrone, we can, yeah, there's going to be problems there. We can get marriages, we can't get alliances. Man is free and has no friends. Oh, Alright, let's get these guys back. I have to start fabricating claims, particularly on man. So, put up a spy network. And can't do Cornwall because he's under England. Should probably do England themselves. Nobody else here was just released, so 
yeah, we'll just fabricate a claim. Just so that we can declare war if we see an opportunity. Who is that one? Tyrconnell. <clears throat> you know what? Austria border England. 55, 37, we already improved. Yeah, we're going to be stuck for a while. Unless we did declare this war and just took out a lot of loans. I mean, we could go way over force on it, just make sure we can beat those three. Don't have any of the same alliances. So then we could do these five. Just chain it after. We'd actually go here and do these three. And then those three. There are ways in there. Hmm. Denmark's clear to Novgorod. So if we're doing this one first, we do this one second. So we should fabricate on uh, Kildare as well. But man would be the perfect one to do first because he has no allies. And he has no army at the moment. So let's at least get a guy. Which probably should have done a long time ago. Uh, he doesn't need to be paid. We go for England. Let's go fabricate on Shrewsbury. I'm going to start fabricating on Kildare. So which one? Ah, oh, crap. I can't do that one. I was seeing just them. I didn't notice Scotland again. Alright. Um, we'll get the claim anyway. Fabricate on everything and then pick and choose. Here we go, man. Fabricate on man. Stop building the spy network. Declare the war. Breaking truce, of course. Until 1471, because he was part of England at that time. So, just keep building up everywhere. And by that point, we can call Northumberland in. It's dropped to one every year. Denmark is still one every two, so that's not bad. So I'm going to try and get an alliance with a major. Castile, I don't really want one. France or Austria. And we can be the first to get admin. We weren't even still ahead of time. The Retco Cumberendo. Tax and mission strength. Sounds good. Um, we'll probably go for the thing for the Center of Reformation for Anglican as well. That second option when the thing comes up. I wonder if England has to take Anglican first and then, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen there. Alright, uh, hello Lithuania. What did you just do? Just lost to Muscovy. Okay. You at least, you are allied to Poland. Lots of problems around there. Denmark is doing... No, Livonians. Is that a separate war? It is. Alright, Livonians are about to take their chunk. Denmark will take... Well, they've only taken that. So he'll be over here to do the rest. And it's going to be actual Danish Pomoria. Instead of going to Sweden. Oh yeah, we're going to put a guy in here, weren't we? Uh, Tristan, we have sock damage received reduction, so let's get him drilling. Try and get him some fire damage. And over here in Kildare. And Leinster. Alright, and then uh, Turconnell. Uh, 
All right, one, two, three, we're doing four and five. We can't reach anywhere else, we've already got man. We can do Scotland and we can do England. So we'll do one on Scotland. We'll go for Ayrshire. Uh, lose admin or lose Diplo. We shall. Probably be better off losing admin. Nobility loyalty is necessary though. Oh, nobility have the amount of land they need. I thought they didn't. Okay. Castile, Fond P.U. over Naples and Aragon. Well, there's the Iberian Wedding, so we would love to get these guys on side. Further away now than they were before. Too many diplomatic relations. <clears throat> Queen Catalina. So, big Austria, big Hungary, big Castile. Hungary have done the thing. Yep, yeah, I want to see what happens when uh, Austria dies there. It's 52, then he's going to become... PU, Austria's going to have a PU over Hungary and Bohemia. And Silesia's already gone, so it'll be easy for him. Ooh, we can get the marriage. Master Recruiter is dead. It's actually good for us. Um, we definitely need to get this right now. I'm not even going to wait the extra couple of months, so we'll send this guy back to Tyrone after. Because we have to rush this before he dies and has too many relations. We have to wait until 5th of October. Hell yes. Alright, and then get back into Tyrone for uh, Spino. And we should have only lost one. 16.8. Yep. That is crazy. So, our four. Denmark and Austria. Just a marriage with Ormond. And then we've got Northumberland. So if we can swing Ormond to be an ally, that'd be great. So 14. We can actually improve quite a bit with them. So we'll do that after everything else is done. So we'll go on Tyrone. And then we're going to do one in Scotland. Get a marriage. We can't get an alliance. Alright, that should give us Donegal. Stop building with him, and it's fine. So, improve. What are we getting for? If we can get Diplo rep. Oh, look at that. Alright, now it's only on minus 9. Opinions at 28, and we can get a decent amount more. France have declared on England. It's stupid enough to insult them in the middle of the War of the Roses. Oh, and France finish them off. Okay. Well, Gascony's still down there. Pretender rebels were looking close to uh, occupying half and breaking. And I'll we'll break him anyway from that. <clears throat> which means they'll get a larger army again. And we've got two years until we can declare on England again. Get the marriage. Alright, we had to choose between France and Austria. I still think Austria is a better option. Now I'd like to see. You can't even find out if you've got too much development. Um, well, I actually don't. If we could... Yeah, see, Austria would have to take that and add it. Austria has started implementing that nation. Well, it's good. England is doing it for a while, now we get them. And Austria's been... Alright, Ladislas. So, House of Fairfax ends the War of the Roses. Oh, damn. Why was it Fairfax, not... Um, they were Lancasters, who's the other one? Hmm, okay. Uh, Austria, have you now got Hungary under you? No. But you are literally the same person. So how's that supposed to work? Or is it a different Ludusless age 29? It's a really common name. Ludusless posthumous from Habsburg. Ooh, 
or a zealot. Another useful, uh, useless one. Succession war between Hungary and France if he dies. That would be kind of hilarious. France would have to win it. <laughs> Ridiculously strong France. I don't get why that hasn't automatically formed a PU though. Okay, uh, France has landed troops in England. This is when we want to declare war. We do have a little money. Um, we're still trying to get all mon, aren't we? <coughs> and ready to go for Ayrshire. Alright, so now we've got our free diplomat. Our marriage with France. If he got the PU over Austria, we might be able to get the alliance. Hmm. Kind of want to improve with them just for a little bit. And kind of want to build this army up to force them it. We also kind of wanted to wait for this alliance first. Alright. Let's start building them. There goes all the money. Loans are 20 ducats, so at least that's coming up. Alright, man, still don't seem to have an arm uh, thing. Uh, we also need a boat to be able to get over there. So, ACOG. Take 50 men, which is okay. The ducats, so we could get. Kind of want to get rid of this guy. He'll die soon. I only need to keep the Diplo rep to get the alliances we need. Let's pull this guy back. Two of a kind. Skill two, half price. Nope. Work even harder. Alright, offer that alliance. So that should still be, yep, four out of four. Alliance, 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 alliance. Royal marriage with Denmark would be helpful. Keep it strong. England cedes Calais to France. England renounces claims on Maine and Armagnier. Subjects give up all claims to France. England's their overlordship over Cornwall. Okay. Pays ducats to weaken them. Okay, so Cornwall's free, similar sort of thing, he has no friends, so we really need to build the spino work up down there, it's another one we could attack in 71, so we'll declare on man and we'll declare on Cornwall, assuming they don't get any allies, <laughs> now he does now, Leinster and Tamond, could be rough. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what Cornwall does. And France. Muscovy's gonna finish off whatever's left of Nogrod. Hopefully there won't be much. 100%. Uh, go on, Denmark. Do the whole thing. Do it now. Denmark. They're on 22. What? Who's... Ah, oh, Lithuania. Okay. Well, that makes sense then. Uh, Muscovy is not at war with Lithuania. Because he's guaranteed. Now he is. Okay. Stop trying to improve with France. Turcanel has announced us as their rival. And France is a pretty firm no. Now we can't even get the marriage. Because he's got... Too many things going on. <laughs> Tyrone is rolled. Ooh. Tyrone blobbed a little. Okay. Well, he's got too many allies for us to fight. Hmm. That really shut down our options. It's going to have to be a declaration on man. Yeah, it's actually better for us because then there's less men for us to fight over there though. Now we're losing cash and we're going to start taking loans. So we definitely need to declare on man straight away. Leinster and Tamond might be embroiled in the other wars. War exhaustion in Tamond, which was uh, this guy. He's not at war though. Alright. 
Well, we still need to build a boat, so we're going to have to at least take one loan out. Build a cog. Uh, we're not going to be able to get over there if he's calling in these guys, though. So there's that. He has a couple of boats. Yeah, we've got no way to get to man. Oh, this is going to fall apart. Truce with England and man has ended. So, if we were to do this... Wait till the first of the month. Alright, if we were to do this, we can call in Northumberland, but they don't really have a fleet to help us. They have four men, so that's 12 on two. Who are we looking at? 10. He's got a 1-3, he's got a 1-4, he has nothing in there. We have a 3-0. We should be able to win it. Problem's going to be getting over to Man. Uh, Cornwall is with Tamond. That is a much better fight. And then we can weaken Man's alliances. Okay. So should be able to do this in two months. Consort region Blesion Den Beek. Alright, fabricate our claim in Cornwall. Tamond would call in too many people. Um, we won't call Northumberland in unless we have to. Though we should have 14. Alright, so we'll leave that there as a reminder. These guys will start walking down here, but they're going to be a little careful. Make sure we get some morale before I actually wander around there. Uh, England, I was assuming we'd get access through, but of course they won't give it to us. Hopefully they're going to give it to Cornwall. Otherwise we can't get anywhere anyway. Alright. Nobody's going to ask for access. In that case, we are going to invite them in. So that maybe they can get access. Nope. Gain professionalism, four ducats. Gain half price, skill two. Yeah, we'll do it, even though it's going to be another loan. Now, the other thing is, we might as well declare on man, so that somebody will get access. He can't call in Tamon because we're already at war. And he calls in Leinster. But they're not going to call anybody else. Oh, of course, we're going to lose these now. Still not allowed anywhere. Alright, Luca, blah blah blah. Um, if we stop being hostile, will he stop being hostile? Novgorod, seed to Denmark. How much? Most of it. Must be able to take the other bits. Alright, England. Let's just go and improve relations just enough to get access through, hopefully. They desire everything we own, so it's probably not going to work out. Alright, Austria's given us ducats. That's good. Uh, Northumberland, can you wander down there to get some access for us? We've got access through Scotland. England's the only problem. I thought he was walking through there, then. Just defending himself from Tamond. Should have built our army over here instead of over here. Now we're going to have significant war exhaustion problems. Alright, buddy. You can at least go over this way and take these back. Ah, of course, he's not in that war. Occupied by man. means he's probably not... No, he's at war with them. And them. Alright, uh, Northumberland. If you go do that, it'll be helpful. And there we go. Hungary's formed a PU over Austria. Planet has been elected. And apparently France don't want to dispute that. No, they are. We just didn't get the pop-up for it. Austria no longer a great power. So, seriously hungry. 
how good is this game for them? And how young did Austria die? It was like 20 something. It is a different Ladislas. So there were two Ladislaus posthumous von Habsburgs. One of them died age 32, the other one lives on. Okay. Crazy Hungarian game. Not very often that Hungary gets the um, Burgundian inheritance land. I've still got no way through England. Hang on, he's rivaled Scotland. Isn't he allied to Scotland? He's lost it. Well, now we want to go to war with England. Which I guess we could do, but we'd want to be able to call people into it. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, which one's Cornwall? Well, too late for that. Hmm. Really can't overcome that. Welsh army strength is a reason to accept. I'd love to see how many men are in England. Um, should we just declare? I really don't like our chance of beating them, particularly not while we're embroiled in two other wars. But we need to do something. I don't know. I'll think about it for a bit, but I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.